think a lot of people right now are asking themselves, what can I do? What can I do for the mother, for the earth, for the bodies, for the pain? And this came up in our fellowship last night. And the thing that the mother put on my heart was the best thing that we can do for her in this earth is by allowing the fullness of her expression within ourselves. When we hold off a part of us of ourselves because we have a judgment of it, we other it, right? Like like a colonizing eye. We look at a part of ourselves and we're like, no, that's that's impolite, that's rude, that's uncouth, that's angry, that's demonic, that's witchery, that's whatever, whatever part of yourself where you're like, no, you can't be her. And you squash that down, that is a separation within. And I think from you know this thousands, a couple thousand years of the inheritance of a patriarchal Abrahamic dimension where the mother has been dispelled and, and um, demonized, we carry that demonization inside ourselves. So we, we are patriarchal to ourselves and to parts of ourselves that we've been conditioned to reject. So, you know, one of the things I was saying to a lady last night was I just immediately felt my body go. <laughs> How did that make you feel? Were you like, whoa, that's crazy. When I first started surrendering to the mother's power, when I spend time with her, I go full on primal. I don't hold anything back. <laughs> I punch, I wail, I cry. I allow, I allow everything. And I remember the first time it started to come through and I was surrendering to it. It was almost like I could see myself in it. And I was like, Jesus, you're full on witching right now, Genevieve. Like, <laughs> is this demonic? Because I grew up in fundamentalism, right? So I demonize when my body wants to contort and be like, fuck you, fuck you. No, it's not. It's primordial. And it's as gorgeous and beautiful and holy as this presentable part of myself presentable and unless we allow you know that was quite you know whatever that was just an example I was giving you but I when I uh, experience and move through shadow stuff the mother has taught me to completely allow all of her to express through me and that's what we can do right now each of us in our own individual lives is to allow the fullness of that shadow to have its place and express and to not judge it whatsoever, to hold absolutely no condemnation for it, to fully accept it. Because only in the full embrace of that gnarly part of ourselves does it become integrated into the whole. Um, yeah. So that's what we can do for ourselves and for the collective right now. Because the, the Abrahamic religions are the ones that are always at war. And all of them have lost their mother. All of them demonize the feminine. Coincidence? I think not, my friends. And in order to reclaim her, we must reclaim her in our bodies and in our own self-expression, in our own authentic, connecting, relating part of ourselves with ourselves, with other people. I don't have to be polite. I don't have to put up with that. I can be compassionate and in awareness and not get triggered, but I will announce it. Huh. If I have something to say, if you, if you know, it's not, I'm not going to, I'm not squashing down any part of myself because Abrahamic dogma has conditioned not just Abrahamic, uh, religious people to do that, but it's inside, patriarchy is inside all cultural systems. It's not just inside those religions now, right? So what we're seeing right now, 
the, the oppression of bodies, the brutalization of bodies. What is the body? The body is the mother. The body, the matter, the flesh is the mother. And all for what? More power, more land, more gain. It's totally distorted, patriarchal, dogmatic, no mother Abrahamic. That's what it is. You know, and women and a lot of us have forgotten how to fully express her and let her live in us because we were burnt for that. You know, if I started to have any kind of uh, experience of like, whatever was happening, wanted to move through my body, all my little fundamentalist Christian friends and every leader and person around me told me that was demonic, told me there was a demon inside me. How twisted is that? How absolutely twisted is that? Growing up in Christian fundamentalism was an honestly a fucking massacre of the feminine, a total massacre of, of my realness, of the, of the fullness of myself. Absolutely just obliterated half the story and demonized it. So anytime any kind of urge or like difficult stuff or shadow came up, there I was denying it. And then I fell into addiction for years because I was in so much repression. I didn't allow myself to go to those spaces because I was told it was demonic. So, or, or you know, we're not given the, we're not permitted and we don't give ourselves the permission to go into those witchy spaces. Witchy just means primordial, shadow, the deep alchemical realness with rejected, abandoned parts of the self. And the full rec reclamation of self and all that nasty stuff and being your nasty, be your fucking nasty. I'm a nun. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, and I'm a nun. And I've totally submitted my life to the most high. Fuck. You see how those two things aren't related. You see how there is no moralization. Who set up the boundaries of behavior? And all the gnarly, fucky, 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 dirty, dirty things are bad or demonic or must be repressed. And now and then everything else is okay, which is ultra righteous, which is Abrahamic dogma. All these dogmatic religions, um, ex like fundamentalist Judaism, Christian and Islam, all put behavioral codes on you. All of them. You have, to, you have to arrive perfect all the time. You have to be Eve in the garden at all times. No wonder Lilith fucking left. No wonder. So now we have a fractured part of ourselves because we are the goddess. We're parts of her body. Half of, our, half of her is, she's disappeared. She's like, well, fuck this shit. You don't want to be honest with yourself. You don't want to just get, just be you. No moralization. Bah! And then now there's a splinter in the collective psyche. The whole thing, the whole thing is a reclamation of the primal, primal feminine, the divine mother within. The fullness of one's own self-expression, the fullness, the fullness of yourself, which has got all shades and colors, all of it, dark, light, everything in between. That's the fullness of the goddess, all these facets. She's not just freaking Lakshmi at all times. Oh, look at my lotus. I'm always in the love and the light. Fuck you. Fuck you. We ain't going nowhere if Lakshmi and Eve are the only bitches up in this picture. Everyone's brutalizing each other because they don't know how to go into the brutal spaces within. They don't know how to bleed and allow the blood within. They've lost connection with the body, the earth, the tree. Because I did that when I oppressed all of that stuff. I got so angry. I was asked any of my mates when I was, you know, high school and early university. I was in street fights all the time. I would walk around and I was just quietly, silently in my own head judging everyone's behavior. I was just like, oh, that chick's a slut. That chick's this. Oh, look at that one. 
quietly in my mind, I would never say it out loud. They never do. Fundamentalists never do. Be that Christian, Jewish, or Muslim. They'll never tell you out loud. They'll act nice to your face. I know, because I was one. And then I'm in street fights. I'm drinking, freaking so addicted to stuff. Punching, breaking, hurting, hitting people. That's how I was for years. I was totally broken psychologically because of what religion did to me. And I look at these people brutalizing the Palestinians and I know they're in fundamentalism. I have complete compassion for that because I actually went through it. Yeah, sure, I didn't genocide people, but I got into a lot of fights and I always justified myself. I was always like, well, she was behaving like a succubus. She was a slut. Oh, she's a bitch. I had my fucking reasons, my self-righteous reasons. This poison on earth is the poison of the ultra-righteous. I'm the most righteous. That's the poison of fundamentalism. I'm chosen. I follow the rules. I do all the rituals. God chose me. I'm the best. And there I was hurting other people and in doing that, just hurting myself. And like, I washed up years later, finally being able to leave the church. It's so, it's so hard getting out of a cult. It's so brutal to your, psych uh, your psychology and your spirit. It's, it's, religious trauma is actually in the psychological manual, the DSM. It's like not a joke. It's so poison. It's so destructive. I can't even believe, by the grace of God, I came out of that. It was an absolute nightmare. And now I see these people all doing this to the bodies, the mother, the bodies. And I know that those people don't have a mother because I understand their religion. I'm also Abrahamic. And the dogma came in and they don't have a mother. And they have to behave all righteous. But it's too hard to behave all righteous. You crumble under the law. You crumble under the law. You can't possibly reach the perfection that the law requires. You can't. Which is the message of Jesus. Fuck the law. Fuck it. If you hold the law on your shoulders like this, it's so hard that you start to, you start to become resentful and bitter and like you want to you see people in their freedom i remember when i was young and i saw this chick like dancing on a bar counter just like you know i was dancing to some shit pop music <laughs> and just like ultra sexy at some like place that wasn't really a club in that way it was like a restaurant and i was like what the fuck and in my head i remember going like this chick's a slut and i know now that i looked at her sexual freedom and i was like I wanted that for myself. I wanted the expression, that primal expression in myself. And because of my religion and all my indoctrination, I never gave my, I had never given myself room to do that. So there I was going, that chick's a slut. And then I started like, irk her a bit, irk her a bit, until eventually we got into a bit of a fight and I got to hurt her. I wanted to hurt the people that were able to embody the primal or the feminine the thing that i wanted i was trying to punch i was trying to break the thing i wanted because I, I i wasn't allowed to have it in my life i was told that that was um evil right and that i would go to hell so you repress all your primordial behavior Meaning your sexual expression, creative expression, fuckity fuckity fuck. <laughs> what am I a witch? You're gonna fucking burn me. So I know from personal experience what fundamentalism does to a person and the violence it brings out of a person because they're so desperate for their own liberation. They want to beat a body. They want to fucking hit a body because they're so disconnected from their own body, their own primordial, because they do not have a mother. They don't have a mother. Before, the Most High was in every temple with Asherah, the mother, the tree. But then rabbinical Judaism came in. This is centuries and centuries and millennia ago. That came in from one section of the Israelites, a very extreme form of Judaism. And then King Josiah ordered it and all the Asherah poles were cut down. 
all the temp the, the, the priests and priestess of the mother were murdered and massacred. The tribes fled across the earth. The indigenous, the Mayan, the Tamils, the Bantus, the Native Americans, the cults, the Druids, all of these people, their bloodlines go back to Israel. Those are the tribes. Every indigenous nation connected to the tree and the earth, those are the tribes. And this one entity took over and it had no mother. It started, it, it started its, its insane quest for power and exploitation by just by the, it began when it cut down the tree it began when it cut down the mother and now there's just a father right and that obviously was the basis of dogmatic christianity and islam and obviously what we're seeing today is zionist judaism which is the most extreme form of fundamentalism amongst all of these religions i've looked into them Christian fundamentalism is also very hectic, like I just said from experience. But Talmudic fundamentalism is the worst. Because it literally says in that book that, it, that you... See, the Bible, the Bible put rules on me that were hard to cope with and I ended up fighting with people. But it never told me to fight people. It told me to love people while also putting rules on me. So it's a bit of a... It's still a cluster cuss, the Bible, right? Why am I saying cuss? Fuck. That's what the point of this video is. Fuck. But when I read into the Babylonian Talmud, that book puts rules on you, your behavioral code. But then it says, everybody else who's not one of you, a Jew, is, is not chosen and you have to go destroy them. It, it commands you to destroy them. And it says that you can do, you can, you just have to be good within yourself and your community. But to non-Jews, you can act completely immorally and it doesn't count so because of their behavioral code they now execute all their prim primordial urges that they repress on the bodies of, of non-jews so you're allowed to kill exploit deceive rape that's in the book okay so that's where it's different from the bible and quran i know abrahamic fundamentalism exists across the board and that's a problem but the most perverted form of that is called the Babylonian Talmud. And it's way beyond the fact that the Torah, Quran, and the Bible have lost contact with the mother. It's like literally Satanism. So just to be clear about that. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going with this, but just like go there in yourself, allow it, express it. And if anybody shames you, I know that feeling when people, you know, try and shame you or make you be like, geez, what's the matter with you? That's not your person. Leave. Whether, whether the discomfort of what it's like to embody your authenticity because when you move through it, the discomfort, my God, you're so much more powerful. Because then you stop caring and you're like, the fuck? What you going to do? What you going to do? My witch. My witch. What you going to fucking do? That collective nightmare is over. Those ultra righteous that came for us, that's over. We get to, we get to, to allow the fullness of her, which is that deep primal space. Go there, go there. Because there's no way, there's no other way to evolve without that. Everything comes from the root and the root is the primal. You, do, you don't move without this primal energy and this primal expression and the, the space to allow the primal through. That is the first and first point of energy. It's the point of creation. If you can't, if you can't let it in, you can't move. That's how they, that's how they uh, cut us off at the legs when they took her out the picture while she's fucking back. Hey. Love you.